and welcome back to another weekly food shopping video. I haven't actually done one of these videos for a couple of months now, basically because we end up getting the same thing quite a lot. But today I had a big Tesco's delivery this morning. It was one of those shops where um, everything had run really low, so we had to stock up and I thought I'm gonna just fill the pantry up for winter. I've bought a couple of bits for like the festive season just to get them ready so that I've got them in the cupboards and things like that. So this was a fairly big food shop for us this morning. Um, so I thought I would film it for you because it was a little bit different um, just to the normal things that we get every week. I don't like filming these videos too often because for me, they just get a bit repetitive. Um, so I'm gonna throw it back to about 8 a.m. this morning, I think when the delivery turned up and show you everything that we got in today's food shop. If you're new, we're a family of three, but my son is kind of still breastfeeding and only having pureed food. So it's basically just food for me and the hubby. So yeah, let's see what I got this week. So this is what this week's food shop looks like. It's quite a large one for us this week. Um, and I've just sort of spread it out around the kitchen so it's a bit easy for me to put away. Okay, I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff as per. Um, I only got some Magnums as frozen this week because these were on club card offer. Sorry if it's a bit shadowy, it's still quite dark this morning. Um, I think these were £1.60 instead of £3, so nearly half price, which is really good. In terms of like dairy and stuff like that, I got four pints of semi-skimmed milk for us and then I got a two pints of wholemeal milk because I have started giving my son Elliot a little bit of blue milk in a bottle each week so um, two pints is more than enough for him right now and then my husband asked for some camembert so I bought him that I'll probably have a little bit of it with him I got some Tesco Greek style yogurt because I've been trying to have like Greek yogurt or like a healthier pudding in the evenings and I like Greek yogurt. I've also started giving Elliot a little bit of this as well and he really seemed to enjoy it. And I've recently been buying this fresh 100% pure clementine juice. I think I saw it on another mummy's YouTube channel and it's absolutely delicious. Um, so I really enjoy that one. We got 15 free range eggs. They're great for breakfast, lunch, stuff like that. Um, and I just get 15 at a go because anything less is usually not enough. So that's all the dairy. In terms of like snacks and treats and things like that, I've also started getting some like chocolates ready for Christmas so that when it comes to like December, I haven't got to like pay out, you know, if we're buying presents and stuff, we've already got a sort of stash of treats and whatnot in the cupboard. Um, if you watched my Vlogmases last year, you might remember that I was obsessed with these lint. They are my absolute favorite. I'm gonna stock up on these because these were delicious. Um, literally like in my second trimester, they were my obsession. Um, so I've got them just to keep in the cupboard until like December time. Um, I didn't say they're milk and white truffles, just absolutely oh, so nice. If you get a chance, try them if you like white chocolate. Although I didn't even like white chocolate that much, but I was obsessed with these. And then I saw these um, when I searched for lint, and I think they might be new. Um, they're like sort of orange, I'm not sure if they're truffles, but like they look like sort of orange squares of chocolate. So I thought I would get them as well because I really like the lint orange. Um, so yeah, both of those are not for now, but I thought I'd get them um, as part of my weekly shop just so that, like I say, when it comes to December, and we've already got a good supply. Or just like everyday treats, um, I always get these packets of um, like Tesco's own brands biscuits, and they're a really good price. I think they're like under a pound, and these last my husband all the week. Uh, they're basically for my husband. I'll have a couple of biscuits throughout the week, um, but that sees him buy for the week those biscuits. And then over here, I've got everything for the pantry. And like I say, this was quite a big shop for us this week because literally like you know when you get to that stage where everything's running low and you have to like stock up it was a little bit like that so i got some scottish porridge oats that's just the kilogram bag because i've started having um, porridge for breakfast and it's good to just keep one of them in your pantry and then i got a big bag of british baking potatoes because i've got a few recipes that i'm going to be needing those for and again they keep in like under the cupboard 
if it's like they go under the pantry and they last for quite a while obviously i probably won't use them all in a week and then i got some british shallots because i'm planning on doing like a stewy casserole thing a lot of these ingredients are going to be for that which i am planning on doing a recipe video for so if you like the sound of that stay tuned um then i got some dried rosemary um I used to have a rosemary plant in our old garden, but we didn't bring it with us when we moved, um, so I need to plant one next year. But I thought I'd just get some dried rosemary because that's really nice on like roast potatoes. Obviously now it's winter, having some nice hearty dinners. Then I also got some cinnamon sticks for the pantry um, because I sometimes use these in one of the curry re recipes. It has cinnamon sticks. Sorry, the focus isn't very good this morning. So I just stocked up on those. And then I got some Bisto onion gravy granules. This is for a um, recipe that I'm going to try over the weekend. It's Friday because we always get our food shopping delivered on a Friday. Um, I think it's for um, some hash brown recipe um, that I saw in the Pinch of Nom book. So I'm going to try that. Um, that This thing here, um, xanthan gum, I'm not sure how you say that. This is also for the same recipe um, for the hash browns. I think it's like a binding um agent thing so i got that because it said that you needed that um i've never never had that before strange one and then i stocked up on some tesco's baked beans i think it was four for just over a pound or something so i got four of them because they're always good to keep in the cupboard and i got some paxo sage and onion mix which is what you make your stuffing mixture up with i don't have any of that so i needed that and I picked up some white pepper because again, we'd run low on that. We got Heinz ketchup and mayonnaise. We were running low. And then I've also started trying this Newman's own ranch dressing. Um, weirdly enough, I've been having salads for lunch, which I know is the strangest thing now it's autumn, um, but this dressing is so nice i think it's like garlic parsley um it's really creamy and delicious on salad i know a bit weird having salads now it's autumn but there we are then i got a bag of mixed peppers and some ripen at home avocados because i think i'm going to do salads again for lunch seeing as though i enjoyed it so much um some mushrooms broccoli clove of garlic um a swede some celery i've got a random leek and a cucumber there then some conference pears because i think i'm going to cook them up and puree them for my little boy because he started having purees um i got a lemon some iceberg lettuce and spring onions, packet of bananas, um, British piccolo tomatoes, which are my absolute favourite for salads. And then I also got some sweet mini peppers, which are really nice in like a salad for lunch, like I'm saying. Then that's nearly all of it. Then I just got a whole chicken i got a large one because i've got quite a few i'm going to do a roast dinner on sunday and then i'm going to use the leftover chicken in some other recipes for the week and then i got a big packet of diced beef which i'm going to put in that stew i don't know if i'm going to use all of it because it's like 600 grams which is quite a lot i might freeze half um for another meal or something that's all the meat oh no i got some cooked ham but then that's all the meat that we got and then I picked up a packet of haddock, smoked haddock fish cakes. Um, we used to get fish cakes quite a lot, but my husband's a little bit iffy with fish, so we haven't had it for a little while. So I'm going to try that again, see if he can eat that. Hopefully he can, because I really like fish cakes. It's a nice, convenient meal. Then, literally, the last two bits are our multi-seed batch of bread. We get two loaves of that, because I just find one is never enough. And I got some tortilla wraps because I'm going to do like fajitas one day. 
okay that is everything i think in total i probably spent about 65 pounds on all the food shopping i spent a little bit more because i got some nappies and i also got some bottled water which i didn't show you um in this food shop haul because it had already been put away um so yeah that's everything hopefully you've enjoyed this video and i will see you again for some more videos thank you for watching bye